and a lot of the class people were there and I thought I'm gonna do this and I went and I got this cookie and I started eating on it it freaked this guy out that he wanted to leave the seminar and I thought you know this is gonna come back and bite his butt big time because he's gonna end up and someone's gonna come down on him because he's gonna end up doing something similar and I wanted to show people balance you know because there is a point where balance is really key and as a healer you must accept the fact that they're gonna have a lot of clients that can't do it all the way they can it what are you gonna do, slap them upside the face no you're gonna be loving and help them through this journey knowing that you have a hard time too because when you get too strict and too narcissistic God's gonna come around and kick butt I'm telling you getting yourself out of balance is a butt kicker and I've been kicked many 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 times in both levels so I can speak from experience here that we just have to respect love have humility and give due respect and and uh, understand uh, give room to breathe for people there's, there's nothing perfect around here it you know God is perfect and yet it's not I mean you have the duality of this you know, when one thinks God is loving and, and beautiful, take a look around. There's the other side of that coin. So, uh, just uh, do what you can. I love you all. I'm here to support you all. No question. And uh, I'm here to walk right with you guys. And we're going down this road. Keep it up. Keep, getting, keep healing all your families, all your friends, all those people that have come heal and let's just heal everybody up let's get the world so healthy that there's a big smiley face on everybody because your job is to put a smiley face on every cell in your body and if you put a smiley face on a hundred trillion cells you got a smiley face on this one big cell and then the big universe has a big smile on its face and then God's got a big smile on its face you see what I'm saying I'm going to have to close up here. I didn't know I would go down this way. Sometimes I just let that. Lisa Lopez, love you, dear one. Love you, dear. Forget it. It's all done. Love you. Uh, same, with, same with all of you guys. Love you. You know what? Don't hold on nothing. It, uh, things come up. Sometimes people make you an instrument for things and you get trapped and you don't realize it. Don't worry about it. Let's go on. You know, that was yesterday. Today's today. New fresh air. Beautiful sky. Although a little rainy around here. So do love you. Do love you all. Don't worry about it. You know. You know. You just you're you're, you're great. And you and and Lisa Lopez, you're a sweet soul. So just uh, just just good experience for all of us. We just keep going. Don't even worry about it. You know. Some people just get trapped in their in their narcissism, and then they take off sometimes. Or some ladies PMS sometimes and uh, say things they don't really mean sometimes. But uh, sometimes things happen here you don't get to see. And people call in, and uh, the way they handle us and the way they deal with us uh, sometimes is pretty uh, n not, not right. Because we're just a, a bunch of souls trying to help everyone else be well. Yeah, I think you get a good understanding. We're, we're not here to rip you off. We're not here to, to hurt you. We're, we're only here to help in every single way and develop more of us. We're here to create a, a bond that will change this world and all the other worlds because the ripple is through all God worlds, not just physical, because changing the physical means changing the mental and emotional worlds with it. You don't just change this world, you're changing all the heavens, like throwing a, 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 a big rock in the ocean. The ripple goes all the way around the world. Well, this goes all the way through the, the, all the heavens because you're attached to all the heavens, believe it or not. You're not just here. You can't be here without traveling down through and taking on bodies to get here. This is too mundane for you as a soul to handle this level. And if you understand how creation's put together, and this shouldn't offend any religious person, because religions, we all need to understand how God put creation together. And it'll help us to survive better. And that's the gig. And a lot of spiritual giants have paved the way from Jesus to Buddha to the Ekmasters to the, to the Singh family and, and just all the, the, the uh, Hindu religion. Everybody has played their role. I think it's time that we do like we did in health. We sit back and we take all the, all the things and all the experiences of all the spiritual people and the health people and we start sifting through and go, oh, I yeah, have that. And that's what we've done. We've mapped out these things to help people to, or souls to, to awaken to this and it just makes the journey more fun and, you know, it gives you more freedom and more of a smiley face and uh, less seriousness about things that don't matter, you know. Things just don't matter 
other than yourself and your happiness and your joy and your ecstasy. Detoxing, this is uh, S-D-E-R-E-K-8-8. Uh, detoxing uh, in this society is going against the current. <laughs> it's not easy at times. Exactly. This is exactly. It's getting well is going through against the current of the negative forces. The negative forces of the social consciousness will chastise you. And you'll see it in your own family. Uh, and they'll get down on your case. They don't realize they're being a channel for this negative force. But that's how the negative forces keep creation in. You know, the negative forces are, all, are bad. There's no bad and good to anything. But it, it, it's all about experiences and directions. And so it's a sort of how you balance duality. Sometimes duality is like a teeter-totter. One side gets too much. Uh, in some cases, you can get too positive and gets you out of balance. And get too negative and gets out of balance. That middle path, Buddha, Jesus, most of them mentioned the middle way. That is not being for or against anything. That's where you find the answers. So those that are, that, that are too out of balance, start contemplating and meditating. Bring yourself into yourself again. And, and don't allow, control your mind, control your emotions. Don't, don't be a pawn on a big chess game, because that's what a lot of you are. Those that are creating a tent, you're just being a pawn, and you don't really, you're being controlled. And you're saying things that really in your heart, I know you, you do really don't want to. You're just not familiar with your heart. So that's another thing. We need to get familiar with our heart. You know, so start hugging someone when you meet them. Now, years ago, a friend of mine, we were both fruititarians together. Uh, you know, everybody from where I come from shakes hands. And a nice, good, firm handshake, that's an old farmer way. My dad always said, a nice, firm handshake, don't give them a wet noodle. And so, you know, we all grew up in that way. So, uh, this friend of mine, we decided we're just going to start hugging everybody we met. Well, that freaked out a lot of people back in the 60s and 70s. You just didn't get hugged back then. It was, there was so much antagonism. The government was way out of balance. Vietnam was uh, unreal. I have not been able to be perfect, and that's okay. Here's a good example. That's okay. I don't chastise you. I don't care. I'm not perfect, and those that of you are great. I, I was at one time. You could say perfect. What's perfect? Right? I mean, uh, we're all here just having experiences, and if we don't label each other, we'll be good. You know, we're just all loving spiritual beings having a very physical, mundane experience. <laughs> Uh, and see the craving, indulging in some of the worst things. Well, you know, we have cravings from fungus, which gives us the sugars and the pastas and all that. And, you know, some people have bigger uh, parasites that do bring you back to the dead animal stuff. And, you know, uh, no judgment. We just know what we need to do to get well. And in that process of, of getting well, you will readapt new thought patterns and create new uh, ways of how you look at things. And you'll be able to let those all things let go. Don't beat yourself up. If someone has a pierced around you, beating on you, just realize God's going to come whoop some butt. And they're going to have a little bit of experiences where they're going to crash and burn. And that's the problem. And I think Dan can tell you about that. I will not stop. I get up and keep going. God's herbs have made all the... Oh, thanks. Isn't that neat? Those herbs are incredible. I'm telling you, that's why I call them God's herbs. People didn't want me to do that. It's like, no, nope, these are God's herbs. You know, let, let's give due respect who created the botanicals, which is our, our pharmacy. Our pharmacy is the botanical world, and obviously the supreme being, or the creator, if you will, uh, put them there for us, and I, I love that. And, uh, you know, this is the thing. We should look at it as an Easter egg hunt, right? That's better, an Easter egg hunt. It's our job to seek out and find that which is hidden. I will not stop. Let me see. I love all the... Oh, thanks a lot, man. Uh, oh, Dirk. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that so much, my friend. Uh, unfortunately, I've got to run, run, run. Uh, so, uh, uh, let me see here. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, if I don't tear away, they're going to come in and pull me away. Thank you so much. And all of you, have fun today. And, and, and be aware. And try to be observant today instead of thinking today. And... Give someone a hug and, and, and help someone get well. I think that's a blessing because when you're happy and secure with yourself, don't let anything shake you from that. 
When you're happy and secure with yourself, nothing can take you off of that. And then you can give love. And when you see someone antagonistic, just give them more love. And say, you know, because if we respond with love, then after a while it'll break them down. And that's, that's really what we all need to do. And sometimes, don't, don't, sometimes I get bent, let me tell you. But I always try to bring them back to love and respect and humility. Love you all, and you have a fun day.